Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look at a shooter that actually forced me to look at the genre more as this one game I used more than once to show off the capabilities of the Sega Saturn Thunder Force 5. When I first owned the Sega Saturn, there were some very good looking games, but most were comparable to the Sony PlayStation. It was hard in the beginning to actually show that the Saturn was an actually a good system with some 3D power behind it. Although the specs were a bit higher, it was renowned that no one could tap into the true power of the system that it could truly achieve. Although that was one of the reasons for the system's failure, some companies took the system seriously, especially in Japan. Technosoft was one company to do just that with their Thunder Force series. Although the game brought nothing more than what they did with previous games into the series, they took the same formula but pushed it with the visuals, its frantic pacing, and unique boss encounters. I took advantage of the game to showcase, but never knew how the game played past the first couple of levels. After 13 plus years, let's take the game seriously and see if my showboating was even necessary. Thunder Force 5 was developed and released by Technosoft for the Sega Saturn in 1997 and then ported to the Sony PlayStation in 1998 and re-released again labeled with Perfect System in 1999. I had the game for a full year on the Saturn before it arrived in North America or Japan on the PlayStation. The game's story revolves around a rogue supercomputer named The Guardian and is on the attack and needs to be taken down. You pilot the gauntlet that gives you five different shooting systems as you play through the game. Like in previous Thunder Force games, the crawl system has been added to help you enhance your normal firepower and able to shoot an overpowered weapon for a brief moment that will deplete the crawls that you have. They will need to recharge before you are able to shoot the super weapon again. You are able to have three crawls and they can also absorb bullets from the enemy and can protect your ship. You are able to gain shields to help your ship able to withstand some hits from the enemy before depleting it entirely. These systems truly help you pilot in some areas where the chaos on screen might be a little bit too much to handle. You are also able to change the difficulty and speed of your ship in the options if the game is too much or you want more of a challenge. The visuals are what truly make the game. The formula is simple in this horizontal 2.5D shooter as the objects are rendered in 3D with gameplay on a 2D plane. The formula itself is enhanced with pacing of the game that will have you fight large enemies that act as mini bosses and of course have multiple large boss encounters that have many different ways to, of attacking you. On the normal mode, I had my work cut out as the enemy's fire is much more and faster on screen. There are times where there is a bit of slowdown here and there because of all the chaos. Playing it in a lower difficulty reveals an easier time but does ramp up in later levels. The game's level design takes you underwater in a jungle to space to eventually fighting the Guardian. The game is short in around 40 to 45 minutes if you know exactly how to play the game, especially with the boss fights. On normal or higher difficulty, the intensity will get the best of you at times and still challenge even the best players. The sound and music is reminiscent of older games in the series, but now remixed with CD capable tracks make the game enjoyable to listen to as well. The visuals and sound, pacing, and large bosses really changes the formula a bit taking a step up 
in the series and welcoming the advancements from the 16-bit era to the 32-bit era. Although not revolutionary at all, when you look at shooters to come after, like Radiant, Silver Gun, and Ikaruga, Thunder Force 5 truly took the next step in the early 16-bit shooters in showcasing a 32-bit wonder in its 3D graphics and what they are truly capable of. Thunder Force 5 gets a 7.5 out of 10 for its wonderful but short visually impressive game that still can give you goosebumps on what the Sega Saturn can truly do. That's it for me on this episode on our retro review on Thunder Force 5. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Be ho out and great. Take us out of here and I will see you all next upload.